All right, this is the day after the chemotherapy, and usually my mom is feeling good. This session though, not as great. So, she's sitting over here, directing me on all the kitchen stuff that she wants to get done. I'm glad that you're here because I can't move. I'm shaking, I'm dizzy, you uh... know. That's why I came here, no all problem. Right. I'm learning a few things too. Obviously, I'm learning a lot. Uh, mom is a great shopper, just like most moms are, and I'm learning how to do a better job. She bought this whole like beef roast beef thing for like eight bucks, and I just broke it down into like like three meals or more or something. I cubed some because she wanted some cubed. I sliced some for some stir fry because she wants some for stir fry, and I left some like that. And that's gonna be for when we make the uh, pho, it's gonna be the pho thai, the meat. Boom. Now we're gonna make a dish that I really love and I actually requested it. Mam chung. It's like a little, mm, how would I describe it for people who don't know it? Meat loaf but with like uh, anchovies in it. So pork and anchovy like little meat loaf. It's really like just humble, simple Vietnamese food. Kind of like exactly like a meatloaf, it's steamed, and you just eat it with some white rice. It's so satisfying. We got some glass noodles here. What goes in everything, right? In Vietnamese stuff. Wood ear mushrooms. I always thought these are black, and my mom said, oh, these are the white version. She likes them better. They feel weird. So you remember wood ear mushrooms, and these noodles go in everything, along with, I always say pork, right? So it's pork, wood ear mushrooms, and glass noodles. That's Vietnamese cooking right there, basically. <laughs> so these guys are dry, and after they've been rehydrated, squeeze out extra water. Get all the leaves or the ear parts ready to go. And then we'll slice that part right off there. That's the uh, wood part. Like so. All right, we're just gonna julienne these guys. And I've never actually done this before, but I'm assuming that if you took a couple and you rolled it, should get some nice pieces. Doesn't have to be done off. Is this a good uh, size, Mom? We could chop it again. Oh, chop it? Yeah. No, we're straight up dicing it. So, winter mushrooms go in. Just a good rustic chop to it. Also, go in with a half diced white onion. Chopped up, rehydrated glass noodles. Goes in the bowl as well. All right, we're also going in now with half a pound of ground pork. Mom didn't like that, so we're going in with uh, three quarters of a pound. Pretty normal, simple ingredients up until this point. Now it's kind of where it gets really funky Vietnamese. This is called mam ca tu, which is basically, it's a tuna paste preserve. Um, you can't find this in Canada, so my mom gets it smuggled from Vietnam like every good Vietnamese person does when they go back and forth. So I don't know about the States if you can find this or not. But if you don't have this, this is what we used to use. Good old North American anchovy paste. I also like anchovies on my pizza. I don't know about you guys. Woo! Smell, huh? <coughs> uh. <coughs> not gonna lie, this stuff smells strong. But I like it, it's tasty. But whoa, I never opened a box before. Woo! One big tablespoon, two big tablespoons. Let's go in it. All right, going with about a tablespoon of pepper. This is freshly ground, my mom freshly grounds it. And then we're also going in with two eggs. And then mix it up well. All right, and a little trick with like, when you're working with like a raw inside filling, you kind of have to know what it tastes like, right? Or else it's under seasoned, over seasoned. Well, if it's, yeah, you can save it if it's over seasoned, but if it's under seasoned, you need to season more. Take a little bit of meat out, microwave it. Then you can taste it. Oh yeah, beauty. Yeah? Man, salty. Perfect. No. No, okay. No. 
Uh, so I'm just gonna flatten this down nicely. I beat up two egg yolks. And I'm just gonna pour it over. Boom, beautiful guys, my first mam chung. It was a lot easier than I uh, anticipated, and I love this. All right, this bad boy is gonna go into the steamer. Look at this old school steamer, boom. Whoop. Whoa, there we go. Beauty, check it in an hour. All right, the mam chung is still on the steamer. It's getting steamed. We're not done. It's a full day of prep. Oh my god, a full, basically salmon fillet, and prepped it up into some beautiful fillets right there. Three and three. We're gonna freeze it. Asian people don't throw away the skin. We grill that up and eat it too. And then this beautiful piece here, we're gonna make a homemade salmon. Gravlax. Gravlax, for those of you who don't know, it's a cured salmon. So it's kind of like um, how smoked salmon, it's, they smoke it to cure it. This one, Gravlax, it's done by salt curing. You can use it in this all the same way as smoked salmon. It's delicious. I've never actually made it before. And my mom's like, you've never made it? I make it all the time. So I'm really excited to learn this recipe. Cooking day with mom. Salmon Gravlax, we're gonna make the cure now. One nice bunch of dill. We're just gonna crush it down. Oh wow, that smells good. All right, so we're not making it into a paste or anything. We're just bruising it and releasing all that beautiful dill aroma. Now, one lime zest. If you have lemon, use lemon. We don't have lemon, so you know how I am when we don't have something, we just uh, replace. Remember all those times in Vietnam where I zested with my knife? It's nice to have a zester again. So let's just go easy and just take the green part or the yellow part, whatever you're doing off. Oh, the lime aroma, so good. It's all in the zest. All right, now we're going in with two tablespoons of salt. Full cup. Full, full tablespoons. Whoop, one. That's good. Two, and then two tablespoons of sugar. Half tablespoon of pepper. And then one ounce of vodka. Mix this all up. Now we got our beautiful filet of salmon. And I'm just gonna get into my Ziploc here. It doesn't matter how you get this in. Skin off, make sure it's de-skinned. One nice beautiful layer right there. And then you just wanna go in with your curing mixture. Spit on there. I'm gonna shove some on the bottom too to make sure. Both sides. And then pour the, all that goodness nice. in there. Oh, nice. Scrape all everything down. Get all that salt, sugar, everything, flavoring. Okay, we're just gonna zip it up. Push as much air as out as you can. All right, and then we're gonna gently massage to make sure it's Everything gets coated and covered nicely on both sides. Spread the love, spread the goodness out. And then we'll just get into a dish, doesn't matter what side, because we're gonna flip it in 12 hours. And you just wanna get something that has some weight on it and just drop it on there. And in the fridge, that's all. And that's it, we're putting this bad boy in the fridge. We'll come back, we'll flip it in 12 hours. Flip it every 12 hours. In total, it's gonna cure for 48 hours. We'll get back to it. Such an easy recipe. I've never made it before. Like both recipes, wow, super awesome. I've definitely eaten many times while I was made it before, but I'm gonna have to do that because you know what? It's a nice cheap alternative to smoked salmon, salmon gravlax. I wanna fast forward two days from now so we can like try it together. <laughs> Here's the final product, the mam chung. Beauty. It's basically a Vietnamese meatloaf. Really good. Beautiful like egg on top there, meatiness. Oh, it's a good texture. Just want a little bit of that. Some plain white rice. Oh, that's a heaven bite right there. Yes. 
Oh yeah. First time I nailed it. Well, I had to help the whole way, but it's perfect. It's like nice and salty from the cured fish, you know? So if you're using anchovies, it has that really nice little like umami, like saltiness flavor. And then the pork, it's just like a, a nice little meatloaf. It's, oh, it's delicious. With the white rice, simple things. It's like, uh, you know, poor people food, like workers food. Exactly. Yeah, that's all it is. Humble food, humble Vietnamese food, soul food. Balance it out with some homemade, uh, what is this, Mom? Dưa cải chua. Dưa cải chua. Some pickled cabbage. Pickled mustard green. Pickled mustard green. Get a little bit of that. Get a little bit of the mam chung. Oh. Mm, perfect. Heaven. I made it good? You made it good. Yeah? You nailed it. Woo! Banoi Phong approved. I'm good. All right, remember this guy? Beauty. So it's been 48 hours, and every 12 hours, we kind of just like took it out and see all this little liquid there that builds up? Drain that out, and, th and then we just flip it. 12 hours, do the same thing, 12 hours, do the same thing. She's ready. We're just gonna take them out, rinse it with cold water, pat it dry, ready to go. So I washed it now. Just pat it dry. It smells so amazing. Citrus, dill. Wow. Look at that right there. Really beautiful stuff. Just get some slices out. Always with every type of meat, you want to do against the grain. That just looks like an amazing piece of salmon right there. Salt cured, salmon gravlax. Very similar to smoked. Mm. Wow. So zesty with the lemon lime. Dill flavor is like mm. And even though it was only like two tablespoons of salt, it's like salty throughout. It's really good. It's like almost too salty by itself. But then when you put it on with uh, how it's supposed to be served, it's gonna be delicious. Speaking of how it's supposed to be served, watch this. Montreal bagel, cream cheese. Gotta get some capers on there. Salmon gravlax goes on. Benoit says don't be stingy. There we go. Fresh ground pepper, you gotta hit it up with that. Some red onion slices. Gotta put a lot of it. Gives that that bite that it needs for everything. Gotta finish it off with a little fresh squeezed lime or lemon if you have it. Boom! Salmon gravlax bagel. Homemade salmon gravlax. It was so easy. I don't know why I haven't been making it. I'm definitely gonna be making it after this. Cheaper alternative to smoke salmon, which I love, but it's like, you know, it's pricey. Um, here we go! Oh my gosh. Uh, oh. Mom, mom. Salty, briny salmon, like the sweet cream cheese, the sharp bite of the onion, the pickly, like brininess of the uh, capers, the Montreal bagel sets it off. Oh my goodness, guys. Wow. Mm. So just make sure it's extra patted down dry, you know, and then put it in a uh, little plastic bag and that lasts for about a week. Yeah. If it lasts for a week. <laughs> Look at that death sickle. Yeah. That's gotta be five foot long. 